fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. The courthouse in Crystal City was crowded with people who wanted to hear the decision of the jury when Slim Carter went on trial for murder. The jury had been out for some time. Among those who waited, Jeb Stevens, the old sheriff, and a young United States Marshal newly arrived in town were particularly interested in the verdict. Look, Marshal, the jury's coming in. It's about time, too. I don't know why it took those critics so long to make up their minds. Well, sure, if they had to base their decision on the evidence as presented in court. Yeah. Order! Order in the court. Stuff nonsense. Everyone knows the slim is guilty. Well, that doesn't mean a thing, Jeb. Order! You too, Sheriff. All right, let's hear the verdict. Gentlemen of the jury, you reached the verdict. We have. All this rigmarole. <laughs> Nothing but stuff and nonsense. Prisoner, please rise and face the jury. Saying please to weasel like Slim Carter. Foreman, will please read the verdict. Why don't they get down to brass tacks? Are uh, we, the jury, in the case of the state versus Homer... Commonly known as Slim Carter. Find the defendant not guilty. Hey, not guilty. Did you hear that? Oh, this is awful. Where's our law and order? Thanks, boys. I'll buy drinks for all of you. Yeah. All right. Well, Come, on. On. Come on, Sheriff. Let's get out of here before you explode. Explode. I'm fit to explode. I'd like to explode right smack on that sneak and weasel face killer. Come on, Marshal. Let me get where there's different air. I'm fit to gag from breathing air in the same room with Carter. Hi there, Sheriff. So you thought it did hang me, huh? Well, you... Now, so... hold on, Jeb. Just hold on. You can't shoot him. <laughs> thanks, Marshal. And thanks again for seeing that I got a fair trial. Yeah. I'll be seeing you, Jeb. Fair trial. Fair trial. What was fair about it? This way, Jeb. We can skin out the side door and get away from the crowd. All right. But on the way, just take a good look at that skunk. Look at him. You'll see a killer walking out of here as free as any man. Yeah, here we are. Get out, Jeb. You come to. I'm right with you. Yeah. It's good to get some fresh air. Ah, oh, Jeb, take it easy. Your old style methods were all right for a time, but the Gold Hills have brought a lot of people here. It's time that Crystal City got regular law and order. Yes, law and order, my eye. What sort of law is it that says a killer can go free? The law says that a man is innocent until proven guilty. That makes me sick. You young squirts may know the law, but Dad read it all. You don't know how to deal with crooks out in this new country. I tell you, Marshal, I know Carter killed Bart Jones. It wasn't proved beyond shadow of doubt. Well, but he spent Bart's money all over town. There was he... a shadow of doubt about his guilt. But I as much as seen the murder. 
You didn't see it. Oh, dear, Russell. What's it take to hang a killer? Your past trials have been too rough and ready, Jim. I was sent here to reform your methods of dealing out justice. I haven't heard any complaints. No. Because those who might complain are dead. And everyone deserved it. We got the old-fashioned notion that a killer should hang. Uh, listen, Marshal. I don't know what to say to show you you're wrong, but... Zeke Merrill, no. He's a smart man. He's got education in the East. Uh, who's he? Well, he lives out from town with his daughter. Got a mighty fine home and a shack up in the gold hills. Just do me a favor and talk to Zeke, will you? Well, I If don't you know. can convince him that your system is the right thing, I'll swing to your side. All right. I'll talk to him, Jeb, if that's what you want. Oh, good, good. We'll go to his place first thing in the morning. <laughs> Maybe you'll like his daughter. Oh, she's as pretty as a painted wagon and just the right age for you. The following morning found the sheriff and the youthful marshal riding out from town toward Zeke Merrill's house. Neither suspected that another horseman had gone over the same trail ahead of them. Slim Carter was already at the rambling house, lounging in a chair while Nancy packed a trunk. So I saw your father at the gold mine, Nancy. He understood how important it was for me to grab that job in St. Louis. But he is coming down from his gold hill, isn't he? He said he'd do his best to get here. The old dear. When he's following a new vein, he forgets time and family and everything else. He said if he didn't get here before we left the house, he'd try to meet us at the stagecoach station. And ride with us to the next town for our wedding? Yep. I, uh, I hope you understand why I don't want to hold the wedding in Crystal City. Oh, of course I do, Slim. Everyone there is set against me. I understand. These small things will go right on top of the trunk. Will you set the tray in for me? Sure thing. I do hope Father gets here. What's the matter, Nancy? Don't you believe he gave his consent? Oh, I believe you, Slim. It's only that... He was against the marriage for a time, but I showed him I wasn't aiming to marry you for the Merrill gold mine. Oh, well, maybe that's father. Can't see him from this window. Well, they're on the other side. You wait right here, Slim. Hmm. Rapping on the door can't be father. Oh, Miss Nancy? Oh, Sheriff. This here is the new United States Marshal. Her name is Brent. How do you do, Mr. Brent? Well... I'm very glad to meet you, Miss Merrill. Hey, you mind if we step in for a minute? Well, do come in. Father's up at the gold mine. He'll be sorry to miss oh, you. Oh, doggone. I, I'm sorry to miss him. Well, come on in, Marshal. Another half hour and you'd have missed me, too. I'm just about packed to meet the stage for St. Louis. What? You were leaving here? Uh-huh. Slim and I are going to be married. Uh, what? Slim Carter? Uh-huh. I knew all the time that those... He was innocent of those frightful charges of murder. Now, hold on, Miss Nancy. That dirty weasel face... Sheriff, how dare you say such a thing? Your pa won't stand for it. But he's given his consent. Slim rode up to the mine last night and asked him. He told me so. That there is a downright lie. Watch what you say, Sheriff. You, you only killer. For that, I can drag you to court and sue you for slam. Well, Call I'm... it, Jeb. No gunplay. Carter's right. You bet I am. <laughs> I know the law. <laughs> the law. Around here, the law is going to see. That will do, Sheriff. I know how you tried to frame Slim and... Frame him? Up and horn toes. Now, Sheriff, get out. Where you... Oh, now, listen, Nancy. Did you hear your pa say he approved of Slim Carter? I take Slim's word for it. Then you can't leave here like she's Zeke. You think you can stop us? You'd better ask the marshal about the law. Yep. Nancy, I've known you and your pa since you was a baby. I know doggone well that Zeke wouldn't give his consent to this marriage. Why can't you wait until I can ride up to the gold mine and... Well, and... in view of the situation, Miss Nancy, that seems like a good idea. Why don't you, Nancy? Oh, Slim, would that be all right? It would remove any doubts you might have. By thunder. There, you see, Sheriff? I'll take a chance on losing the position in St. Louis. We'll postpone our departure for a day or so. But, Slim, I don't want you to lose that position. It's all right, Nancy. I want the sheriff to realize that he, like everyone else, misjudges me. Where, well, Juniper? Sheriff, if Merrill doesn't show up before tomorrow, I'll go to him with you. Then you'll hear the truth. I'll settle for that. 
That night, the Lone Ranger and Tonto made a small camp in the hills not far from the steep trail that led to Marrow's gold mine. Uh, we build fire, and then we have good camp. I suppose we might have gone on to Crystal City. Oh, the trail, plenty bad. Too dangerous after dark. It's probably wiser to wait here until daybreak. I'm anxious to see how the new marshal is doing. Well, we see him tomorrow. Otto, hear that? Ah, horseman. Coming up the trail. Trail below here must be a lot better than it is up above. Plenty bad up above. Too dangerous. I wonder if that horseman knows it. Maybe good we warn Ryder, huh? Oh, moon enough to show my mask. You might think I'm a highwayman. Uh, me go stop him. Uh, tell him about trail ahead. If he knows what it's like, there'll be no harm done. If he doesn't know, he should be warned. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you stop! Rain up! Stay aside, you Trail fast! Rain up! I warned you! Pretty close. Let me see. Well, one bullet brushed your sleeve. Ah. He fired to hit you. I don't like it. Come on. Um, what we do? We're going after him. Stay there, sir. Trail bad. We've been over it once. We'll cover it again. I want to know why that man fired on a total stranger. Steady, we come up. One silver. Come on, scout. The following morning, Sheriff Jeb Stevens called at Slim Carter's house to start out for the mountains. Hey there, open the door. Open up, Carter. That you, Sheriff? Yes. I checked at Merrill's place. She hasn't come back, so we're riding up to his gold claim. Sheriff, open the door and come in. Yeah. Yeah, come on. As soon as we start the bed, I... What in tarnation is the matter with you? Uh, Sheriff... I'm a sick man. What ails you? Been awake all night. First a bad toothache, then I got to aching all over. You were scheming to get out of having Zeke Merritt tell the truth about you. No, no, it's not that. I'm sick. I really am. Yes. Yeah. Right. I wish I could... Look here, Sheriff. Why don't you ride up there alone? He leave you here? Sure. You can ask Merrill if he didn't say it'd be all right for me to marry Nancy. I can guess his answer without riding the way up there. But you can't. You won't believe anything I say. Go yeah. ask him. Then you run away with Nancy while I'm gone? I'll wait here till you get back, I yeah, promise. Your word's not worth a hoot to me. Uh, did me come in? Huh? Where'd you come from? An Indian. Uh, me travel a long way. Me want water. Hey, well, help yourself, Red Skin. There's a spring east of the house. Oh. What matter, that fella? Huh? Hmm? Me? Ah. You plenty sick. Well, that's what he tells me, but I got my doubts. Oh, him sick fella. Uh, me fix them. Now, hold what on. What is it, Indian? Uh, me look, find out. Get away from me. Oh, him got fever. Plenty bad. Hey. No, no, I'm all right. I'm... Hold on, Cody. Some of these redskins know more about doctoring than regular sawbones. Oh, this fella plenty sick. Me stay here, take care of him. Now, look here. See what you can do for them, Indian. I'll do what you say, Cody, and head for Merrill's shack. But I'll make blame sure you stay here and don't run off with Nancy when I ain't around. I'll be back pronto with some guards. Confounded Indian. I'm no more sick than you are. Now clear out of here. You not know, Tonda, huh? No, and I don't want to know you. You see, Tonda, last night. What do you mean? Here, bullet hole in sleeve, and you make it. Oh, I... Well, look, I, I didn't mean no harm. I, I thought it was a holdup. Uh, that's what you say now. Don't use a knife. Don't. Tonto, fix you. Please, Indian, go away. Don't look at me like that. Don't knife me. No. Now, Tonto, fix you good. Help! Indian's gonna kill me! Help me! Help! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
we'll continue our story. While Tonto acted as if he were about to knife Slim Carter for shooting at him on the mountain trail, Jeb Stevens entered his office where a deputy was on duty. Sure. What are you doing back at the office? Thought you'd gone to meet Slim Carter. Hey, did. Well, what are you Sam, doing? you come with me. Zeke Mills claim? No, I'm going there alone. I want you to watch Slim Carter while I'm going. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll walk around to the shed while he gets your horse. See, uh, sure. You might as stay nearby and keep guard on Slim till you get back? Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, might be all day. Yep. And all night, too. Might be a long time. You stay there till I get back. Now, Sheriff, look. Uh, suppose he tries to leave the house. Don't let him. I'm to stop him no matter how? Yep. Well, I mean, uh, I might have to comb his hair with a barrel of my six-gun. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, and not with the new marshal around town. Oh, shit. I know, Sam. Things have come to a pretty pass, but we can't do much about it till Zeke Merrill talks to the marshal and shows him where his style is all wrong. I wonder where the marshal is. Yeah, the less I see him, the better I like it. Help! Hey, Sheriff, look. Sheriff! Sheriff, help me! What does Sam hit? Oh, that's Slim Carter. He don't run like a man that's down sick. The engine's chasing him. Sheriff! Call out that Indian! Don't let him get me. What's the matter with you? Save me. Don't let that Indian get me. He's going to kill me. He's got me mixed up with someone else. He thinks I tried to kill him or something. He's got the wrong man. Seems like you got away of all this being mistook for somebody else. He'll kill me if he has a chance. Yeah, wouldn't that be too bad? I, I, I make him go away. Look at the way he stands there staring. As if he wants to kill me. Well, he ain't the only one with that idea. Don't go away, Sheriff. you got to stay in town. It's your duty to protect your citizens. I'm going to Zeke's claim. I aim to talk to Mel. None of your tricks can stop me. Then make that redskin leave. Make him clear out. He's got as much right to be here as anyone. What's he done? He threatened me. He wants to kill me. I got no proof of that. But it's true. Here he is waiting for a chance, waiting to get me. <laughs> Sam, you better ride along with me. I reckon there's no use you staying around town. Don't leave. I, I, I'll go with you. Well, now you're showing sense. I'd sooner go than stay here with that redskin. All right, then. Get your horse and come along. Maybe that engine don't use the ways of real doctors, but he sure cured you mighty sudden. Go get your horse. We'll wait for you. I'll get cinched up. I'll be with you in a few minutes. <laughs> you know, somehow, Sam, I like that red skin. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Say, he's coming this way. Hey, engine. Oh. What'd you do to that hombre? Oh. Uh, me talk to you? Well, sure, sure. That fella ride up trail last night. Eh? Yeah? Fella named Slim. Him go to Merrill Place last night. He did? What'd he go there for? Him go there, plan murder. Hey, murder? Ah. Leap and practice. You mean to say he's killed Zeke Merrill? You come. Find out. We're heading there pronto. Now, wait. Huh? Oh, you hear what Tonto say. Is that your name? That's right. Me want to tell you plan. While Slim Carter prepared for the ride to Merrill's gold mine, Tonto talked to Jeb and the deputy. Then the trip got underway. During the long ride on the uphill trail, Slim Carter had little to say. He seemed thoughtful until the three men neared their destination. Then he grew nervous and more uneasy with each passing moment. Jeb might have noticed this change in Slim's manner, but he made no comment. Straight ahead and there's your shack, Sam. Yeah, won't be long before we get there now. Well, I reckon we won't have long to wait for grub, neither. Jake will be fixing up some vittles about the time we get there. I'm so hungry I could eat my boots. Yep, me too. Hey, what's the matter with you, Carter? You don't seem comfortable in that saddle. Oh, yeah. I'm all right. Well, you see, Carter, I hope you told the truth about what Zeke said. Sure. Sure I did. You'll know mighty soon if he said you could marry Nancy, huh? He did. Well, that don't sound like Zeke. You think I'd make you right all the way up here if I didn't know what I was talking about? There's no telling what a critter like you'll do. You'll sure be sorry if we came on a wild goose chase. Uh, Sheriff, I... Yeah. I reckon it'd be better if you and Sam went on alone. Why? Well, you go on and talk to Zeke Merrill and see just what he has to say. You can talk easier if I'm not around. You're coming along with us. But, Sheriff, Merrill can talk better without me around, and so can you. Keep traveling. If I'm there, you might have a notion that I'm making Zeke Merrill agree to the marriage. If I'm not there, there won't be any interference. You can ask him anything you want to ask him. Where'd you be while I was talking to him? Oh, wait here. Yeah, maybe he's right, Sam. What do you think? Well, ain't no harm in us going on alone. He can't get far. Even if he does try to get back to town, he won't make it in time to do no good. I'll wait right here, Sheriff. Get it. When you finish talking to Zeke and found him on the level, you just come to the door and wave to me. All right. You stay right here. See that you wait. Oh, who's it? Oh. I'll be right here waiting. You better be. <laughs> I 
I'll be here till I'm sure you can't go back with me. I reckon the next half hour I'll see the end of all my troubles. Don't move. But that mask. Get off that horse. No, no. Listen, mister, if it's cash you want it. I don't want cash. I want you. Now dismount. No, wait. Maybe you need help. Let go of me. Come on down. Wait. Out of your feet. Stop pulling me around. And do as you're told. Now walk ahead of me. We're going to Merrill's cabin with the sheriff and his deputy. What for? Who are you? Oh, you learn things when you get to the cabin. We'll all learn things there. All right, mister. That's what you want. Want to go to that cabin? I'll go along with you. No need to throw me around like that. Now I'll show you. Good. Thanks for starting it. That one for Tonto. You, you. Now, if that's not enough, I'll, I'll close my fist and continue the game. Stop slapping me around. Make another well, play to draw a weapon, and I'll use a bullet on your arm. Instead of the side of my hand. My face. Yes, it's a little red. Give me any more trouble, and we'll see about adding black and blue. Well... Are you ready to walk to Merrill's house? Well, let me tell you. Let me explain. You'll I... explain, all right, Carter. You'll do a lot of explaining when we join the sheriff, his deputy, and Zeke Merrill. I get going. I'm going. Just keep a couple of paces ahead of me. You don't need to tell me what you want. I, I don't see why you want to go with the sheriff and his deputy, huh? I'll deal with a masked man quick enough. Keep going. Look here, mister, whoever you are, you're a sensible man. Wait a minute, let me talk to you. Keep going. But if you don't... Keep give... going. There's the sheriff standing at the door. Sheriff, this mask man... You'll wait a minute. You'll be with the sheriff. You won't have to shout. Hey, what's going on over there? Here's your friend, sheriff. He's no friend of mine. He's going to be with you when you talk to Merrill. Watch this. Hey, Jeff, that man's mask. I see he is. Right up those steps, Carter. Sheriff, this masked highwayman is... I have all of you covered. Don't reach for your guns. Back inside, Merrill. You too, sheriff. Oh, see here. What sort of things are going on around this shack? Inside. Go on, Zeke. Better do as mass man says. Sheriff, if you jump up... You get in there too, Carter. Step along. That's it. Now, Carter, you get over there next to the fireplace and sit down on the floor. But I don't... Do as you're told. Now, sit down. Hey, Jeff, what in time is... Get up, Sam. Listen to the mass man. You must have some explanation for bringing Carter in here like this. It's hot here. I can hardly breathe. Let me get away from the fire. You stay where you are. It's not too hot. In fact, I don't think it's hot enough. Sheriff, put some more wood on that fire. What? How long since you've taken orders from a man? Man's own business. Merrill, has the sheriff explained why he came here? He just started to. Uh-huh. Go on, Sheriff, continue. Yes, he... You see, Slim Carter told your daughter that you've given consent for the two to get mad. Oh, he did, eh? Well, I... Uh... Is it true, Zeke? True? Not on your life. Carter, you lying sneak, I told you once that if you ever called on my girl again, I'd take the horsewhip to you. Let me get out of here. No hurry, Slim, no hurry. Merrill promised you a horsewhipping. How about keeping your promise, Merrill? <laughs> you buy something, there's an idea. Yeah, let's see you do it, Merrill. All right, you can horsewhip me, but let me get where, where there's more air. I, I can't stand this heat. That fire's hotter all the time. More wood, Sheriff. Great. Maybe we can sweat some of Carter's sneaking his out of there's a good big hunk. That'll make it burn. Oh, uh, by the way, Merrill, before you look for a whip, let me ask you something. Yeah. And let me ask you a few things. That mask, for instance. You were killed. Uh, would your daughter be wealthy? She'd get all I have. That would be quite a bit. This is a good gold mine. Mm-hmm. And if the sheriff were to die with you, Slim would have little trouble in going through with the marriage to your daughter. Yeah. What about it? Slim Carter planned to murder both of you. What? Which is not true. You can't take the word of a masked man saying things he can't prove. The chances are he wants to marry her himself and kill you so he'll just get Just a minute, just a minute, Slim. Oh, uh, Sheriff, mm-hmm. there are only two chunks of wood left in that box. How about throwing them into the fire? <laughs> you say so? No, no, no more wood. Hey, declare, Slim, what's the matter with you? You act like you're plumb scared of fire. Don't put that other piece on. No, no, wait, not that one. Why not? No, no, please. Merrill... I think we'll rope, Carter, and we'll all go back to town and get the new marshal to come here. Don't leave me here. Yeah, here's a rope. No, 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 please. Don't leave me here. I'll die with that much heat. But it might turn cold before we get back. Let me out of here. Let me out not do anything you say. Put your hands out so I can rope them. Take that log out. Take it out. The last one you put in, it'll blow up. It'll kill us all. What do you mean? I filled the log with blasting powder. It's in the fire now. It'll blow almost any minute. Save me. 
Take me out of here. Hurry while there's a chance. You admit filling a log with powder? Take it out. You plan to kill Zeke Merrill? Yes, yes, I admit it. Just take me out of here. You plan to send the sheriff here to die? Yes, yes. All right, all right. That's all we need. The confession will be enough. You needn't worry, Carter. See, I followed you last night. I saw you come here and fill that log with powder and put it where Zeke Merrill would take it into the house for tonight's fire. You did? Well, I'll... And you didn't tell me? No. Instead, I took the powder out of the log. It's harmless. Otto went to town to learn more about Slim Carter. Oh, we got you, Slim, with your own confession. Frame me, huh? Frame me. Well, I'll deny it all. You've no proof that'll stand in court. I'm glad there's law and order in this section that calls for proof. You overlooked one thing, Carter. Well... You're counting on the new marshal to see that you're tried as you were the last time. He's for law and order. Yes, he certainly is. That's why Tonto brought him here to overhear all that you said. And we hear a body, Jim. Mercer, did you hear this rat-faced crook squealing when he thought his worthless hide was in danger? I sure did, Merle. And it looks like Sheriff Tucker and I had better get together on some sort of compromise in the dealing of justice. <laughs> well, I tell you, Marshal, what we need is a few lessons from that mash man. Well, then call him back. Hey, come back here a minute. Yeah, but the marshal will do all right, Merrill. You don't need me. Don't need him. <laughs> Maybe we can do all right, Marshal. But imagine anyone thinking they don't need the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.